Hello and welcome to my Let's Look At FTL Faster Than Light video. Uh, let me just tell you a bit about the game before we actually start playing it. Uh, the game is a spaceship simulation roguelike game. So, the first thing that comes to mind when I play this game is the Pilot of Isaac. So if you like that, you'll definitely like this game. Uh, the game tried to recreate the atmosphere of running a spaceship and exploring space. The Kickstarter project for this game got funded 2005%, so this game is going to be good no matter what. Okay, it's just it's dead certain that this game is going to be good, because it was funded that much by like, actual people. Uh, if you don't know what Kickstarter is, you should go check it out. And another thing, I've got a bit of a cold, so if you hear sniffles and all that, um, just just ignore it, just ignore it. So let's go new game. Uh, this is all the settings. You have your crew down here. These are the weapons. These are achievements. So you get new uh, new ships. There are uh, nine ships to um, choose from, sorry. Yeah, there's nine ships. So I couldn't count for a minute. Uh, you can rename the ship. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But no, I'm just going to keep it named as the Kestrel for now. Um, you can set normal, easy, uh, I'm just going to put it on easy for now, because it's just a let's look at, it's in a let's play. When I do a let's play, I'll put it on normal, but for now, uh, just take it easy. So, these are your little people, and this is your ship. If I select him, I can send him about the ship. Oh, it's on pause. Right, so there you go, so now I'm actually sending him to the ship. And I'm going to send this one there and now we're all ready so now I'm gonna jump these are this is the map these are all like the different uh, points on the map uh, and you can go exploring right you arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station it appears to be burning but you detect faint life signatures on the board so this is a game sort of gives you like choices of what you want to do i could board the station look for survivors that would probably give me a new crewmate or scrap some of the debris uh, i'm going to board the station uh, blah, 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 the life sign really must be a malfunction because you really doubt anything could live here okay so i've got some scrap scrap is basically the currency and uh, you can upgrade stuff uh, with that scrap, so here you can upgrade weapons, the med bay which heals your people obviously, the oxygen that keeps your people alive, some races don't need oxygen though which is pretty cool, the engines which obviously power it, and the shields, uh, here's all the equipment, uh, different lasers and whatnot, here are the, uh, sorry here are the crew, these are the crew, here are all the crew skills, uh, none of them have good traits yet but they will eventually gather those traits up for a certain amount of time so I'm just going to power up the engines because that's the cheapest thing to do at the moment so there's nothing else here so we're just going to jump jump to a new point right so we now got to a new point you recognize the ship as a well known slave trader he hails you and offer you, offers you a laborer for cheap I can't actually afford it, the labourer, so I'm just going to attack him. So now it's time to power up the weapons. This burst laser doesn't require any ammo because it's all like a laser. So I'm going to hit his oxygen and this is like a missile launcher and it does require ammo. It requires missiles, which I only have eight of, but he'll be dead before then. It's all cool. If these things actually ever want to fire... There we go, finally fired. And there, right now he's surrendering, take one of our slaves. I will do that because I wanted one of the slaves. This guy is called Kozar. Let's just get rid of that. He's got no special traits at the moment, but I'm going to send him to the engine bay because the engine seems to be lightly damaged. So he'll go there, he'll repair it, and by sending him to the engine bay, it actually increases the speed of like the FTL drive it's, like it's ready to use it actually increases the amount of time it takes or decreases it sorry decreases the time so now we just gotta wait till the guy fixes those things come on it's nice and peaceful watching your own ship 
I control all of this. All of this is under my control. Right, he's fixed it well enough. Right, let's get ready to jump. Uh, let's go here. Alright, new point. Up here is the fuel, sorry. This is the fuel. These are missile. These are drone parts, which... Once you get a drone, every time you use the drone, it takes a point away. You came across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly received transmission. Stay out of this fire and we'll make it worth your while. One drone part and ten scrap. I'd rather kill the pirate and take all the scrap. So, let's send a missile over to its shields. Which I always do, and send this over to its oxygen, because without oxygen, you can't live, so. It's pretty obvious, but that is my strategy. I will blow, make you suffocate to death. Right, they got their shots off first. Come on, these shots take absolutely ages. There we go, one of the missiles is away. And the burst is away. Five drone parts and twelve scripts. I'd rather just take absolutely everything. Gee, they're not very, like, um, strong, are they? My hull's pretty damaged. This, no, it's, my hull's fine. Hull is absolutely fine. My weapons absolutely take ages at this moment. There's a what goes one of the missiles. Right, it's destroyed. Pyro explodes, leaving a sub, le but leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. You get to examine the ship to save. Thank you. Upon closer inspection, you realise the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put much of a fight. Use the leverage gain by slowing the light to convince them to delay. Might do that. Hmm. Yeah, I got some extra time in the sector. That lets me uh, explore for longer if you will because eventually the rebels try and catch up to you and they'll try and kill you or they will they do kill you it indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travel oh no this is a store this is where you buy things these augmentations uh, they do special stuff like weapon pre-igniter weapons are made immediately available after an FTL jump I'm just gonna fix my hull fix all and buy some more missiles and buy some more fuel missile so have I got anything to sell? no I have nothing for sale alright let's jump again because there's nothing here right, let's go to this one holy crap a weapon is just floating in space weapon heavy iron I probably won't even be able to use this right now What does it do? Does it fuck? Disable systems without causing hull damage. I probably can't use it. Not enough system power. Now I can use it, but I have to get rid of my burst, which I'd rather just keep the burst, to be honest. So if I find another ship, I'll sell it. Right, this is a distress beacon. These are sort of randomly generated events. If you've ever played Fallout New Vegas, and you've chose the Wild Wastelander perk, it's sort of like that. But they're more random. Uh, follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you help. Our shields are down. I don't know how much longer we can last. So I'm actually going to help out the ship. They got me five fuel and twenty-seven scrap. See that that was a good deal for just losing a bit of my hull, which isn't even that bad to be honest. I'm going to go to this one. Oh, I am. I have such a terrible cold right now. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Right, so they're actually powering up their FTL, which is like their engine basically. So I'm going to take out their engines and their shields. So this guy doesn't want to take... I should have upgraded my, my, um, my weapons and how fast they go. Come on! He's going to get away. Right, there's one of my missiles. Right, it hit 
the shield. The shields are basically down. I've damaged the FTL, and now I'm gonna attack that oxygen. Right, missile away. Oh, right, they're basically sitting ducks now. Right, my um, maneuverability has been taken down, or my evasion, sorry, because like the, the bridge has been damaged, and uh, oxygen has now been destroyed. My weapons have been damaged. Looking back, I should have just let him escape. Oh, he's got to take it ages because my weapons have been damaged. I'm just basically sitting here now. I'll just wait for them to die because they will die eventually from oxygen. But there we go. Right, they're dead. So I got a missile, drone parts, and some scrap. So that was good. I helped out people, sort of, not really. And right, so now I am going to jump. He arrived at a long range beacon where the FTL drive is charged and he jumps to the next sector. Scouts reveal a large asteroid belt nearby, short term to may discover useful materials while we work for the FTL. I'm going to destroy the asteroid belt. Pirate ship. The hiding. Blah, blah, blah. Right, so let's just attack the shield. Oh, they have a teleporter! Oh! So they can actually come onto my ship start attacking me. She did not good I tell you people, it's not good. I've never actually seen that happen before. Alright, so let's okay so the missile I did send this. Well, at least their crew is dying. Is he dying? I don't know what Maria's not mine, so yeah, I think that's dying. More or less, because I'm in a med bay, so every time I do anything, it sort of repairs me. Yeah, that was pretty stupid by them to come into my med bay, because while they're attacking me, I'm just being repaired. So that was that was good. Come on! See, look, my weapons have been damaged again. It takes ages for it to load. Their weapons are back online. Their shields are down. I just feel like set their off. I don't want to. I can't be bothered to fight them. Right now, I just wait for the FDL to charge. Should I just fire at them? No. Okay. Just waiting for that to charge. Actually, I'm running out of oxygen quite quickly. Not quickly, but I'm running out of oxygen because of. They hit me oxygen, so I'm just going to go and repair that. Right, oxy oh, right, I'm ready to jump. Next sector, right, so these are different sectors. Uh, Zoltan or NG, the, those are like uh, normal sectors where you don't get attacked as much. Hostile sectors are red, they're basically hostile. Nebulas are... What are nebulas? Nebulas are sort of dangerous places that aren't as dangerous as hostile, but you still really don't really want to go into them. So I'm, the only place I can go is there. So I'd rather go there. But, yeah, that's all I'm going to show you for this part. I am going to start a Let's Play, so I hope you have enjoyed watching this, and I hope you want to watch the Let's Play. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. There's a lot of other content on RLB that that's like this. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Like the video, please comment. What do you think about this game? Are you going to buy this game? Uh, if not, why? And again, if you like the video, go check my channel out. You don't have to, but just just a suggestion. But cheers for watching. I'll see see you next time.